Hey everybody, it's David from Learn Stage Lighting, and I'm here with Crystal from Entech, and we're going to take a look at their ELM, their ELM pixel mapping software. It's a really great piece of software that allows you to use LED pixels, fixtures, and uh, pretty much anything and run video content over it. So let's take a look. Hey everybody, we're going to talk about Elm today. So we built Elm from the ground up specifically for pixels. Um, and uh, it has a variety of licenses starting at four universes. So you can really get started with pixels really easy and for little cost. Um, so this is Elm. We'll get back to this screen. This is a good, good fancy screen. Well, let's go through some of the basics here. Um, so it is a vector-based program. You'll see here our stage. Um, and basically, when you're adding stages, um, you get a grid and you add strips and you tell it how many strips you have or, you know, uh, lines of LEDs, how many pixels are in each LED, what type of color you're working with. Um, if you want it to be a line, a loop, or a curve, that's the great thing about Elm is it can handle curves natively. Um, it doesn't all just have to be lines and you can do lots of shapes. Um, and then how you're controlling it, what protocol, you give it an address and you hit add. And boom, it does all the math for you um, based on how you've addressed it in that setting. And then you can move things around. Um, you know, however you need to, to make the picture that you want. We're going to jump over to the next screen here, um, which is your media input screen. So you can add in media of your own, um, and there's a lot of free, great video clips out there. Um, or Elm comes preloaded with several options. So you can bring in video and images. Um, just your standard AVIs, JPEGs, etc. GIFs, it can do GIFs. But well, we've got this effects folder here as well. So you've got a series of, of basic effects, um, static colors, strobing, you know, some sparkly noise. But we've recently added this eye candy folder that gives you a ton of options. And with the newest release coming out in a month or two, we're going to double the amount of options that you have in the eye candy folder. So. Watch out for that. But you see, you have a ton of lots of different great effects that you can start with right off the bat. Um, so let's go ahead and add one in. So I'm going to go down to slot number 97, and I'm going to pick Kaleidoscope Metaball because it looks pretty cool. And I'm just going to say OK. And you see it puts it into slot 97. But then on top of that, you can change it. You can go over here to configure and hit configure. And now I can change how that video looks once it's sent to the light. Yeah, so these actually aren't really technically a video clip. The computer's actually generating this and you can make it go faster, slower, you know, configure some different parameters as to how exactly this video per se looks. But you get more than that. You can change sizing and all kinds of stuff like that right yeah. here. Depends on the video what options you get here. And I just want to draw your attention to this one drop down here because you can, if you take a colored video, you can automatically take all the color out and pop it to grayscale. Um, or you can invert it if you have, I mean, you can see down here. Uh, if I hit the invert button, grayscale, oh, it, oh, it actually doesn't do it. Um, so yeah, it'll invert the color. So just a couple of quick uh, looks at this screen here. And then schedules, it's a scheduler. You can play things automatically based off the clock on the computer, your standard scheduler. Um, and then this is the live screen. So this is what you see when you're programming. Over here are the duplicates of the banks of media. Um, so we'll put something in here. So that'll tell you what's playing across your lights. Um, and as you can see, it's actually playing across the lights here in the booth live in the pattern that we just selected. And then you can set up your next set of media over here on the B bank, and you can see that there's a crossfader. So I can switch between the different types of media on both sides. So sort of like a, uh, an AB fader. Um, you can just hit the X key button and it'll go. Um, down here you have your color control. So if I want to change this orange media to be green or blue, I can. So again, inside the program you have a lot of options for how to change the stock, uh, whatever files you drag in. Intensity is here. 
You can speed up or slow down the clip. Um, awesome. So, so when we're running a show with this software, um, do we have to have an operator, somebody sitting here uh, running it, or how does that generally work? No, you can do that. Uh, most people choose to run off a remote mode. So you can actually link Elm to a console. We've got it linked up to a tablet here running Touch OSC. Any DMX controller can run Elm. And the beauty of that is the pixels that Elm controls take up a lot of universes. But with the remote feature, you actually set up Elm as a fixture in your controller. And you can control multiple universes with only nine channels. So if you have a smaller console, do not worry. You can control pixels with that small console. You just need nine channels. Yeah. So a lot of power there. Awesome. Thanks for talking with us, Crystal. Uh, another just quick note I wanted to mention was that with Elm, uh, it's not expensive. You know, go take a look at their pricing. But compared to adding more licenses to your console, which may not control pixels as well, Elm is is really inexpensive. So if you ever wanted to do cool stuff with with pixels, with pixel mapping like we see in front of us here, I would definitely take a good hard look at this software because it's really great and it's less than you think it would cost. Thank you so much, Crystal. You're welcome.